<laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another class on Verbling.com with Teacher Abby. This is a beginner level of reading, dialogue, vocabulary, grammar, slash conversation class. We will be having a discussion about the topic inside of the dialogue and some of the words that we see. Hi, Ali. Welcome back. Hi, Abby. Again. I didn't. I messed up my hair, and I just. <laughs> I left it. <laughs> it doesn't work. Either. <laughs> Good to see you, Ali. Andre, welcome back. Good to see you. Hi. Hi again. How you doing? Doing good, of course. <laughs> good, of course. I'm glad to hear it. What because else? Because I'm I... I'm in your class. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Mateo. Again, Abby. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Mustafa, welcome back to the class. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hello. Tarek, hello. Tarek. Tarek, are you there? I think your microphone has you muted, Tarek, so I can't hear anything that you're saying. Victor, welcome back to the class. Thank you. Hi again, Amy. Nice to have you with us. We are, oh, Tarek is gone. He's gone. Safe way. <laughs> oh, he's back. <laughs> Hi, Tarek. Welcome back to the class. <laughs> I'm super hyper today. I'm sorry. He's gone. He's the back. So What's fun. hyper mean? With lots of energy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I feel like I feel like dancing. Don't use that energy in my in your English. With again, it says. Why? Well, maybe you'll do. <laughs> I'll we'll blow your mind. You're like, ah, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Sultan, welcome to the class. How are you? Wow. <laughs> do you have a cold? <laughs> I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to say hello to Tarek one more time. Tarek, this is your last chance. I'm just yes. kidding. Can you hear me? Hey, yeah. I hear you, Tarek. How are you? I'm doing very well. How about you? It's, I'm doing good. It's been a long time since I've seen you. How is everything? Yes, that's okay. Good. I'm, I'm glad to hear that you're doing better. Good to have you back. Thank you. Ahmed. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine. Ahmed, where are you Fine. from? From Egypt. From Egypt. Wonderful. Welcome yeah. to my class. Is this your first time with me? Yes, first time. Thank you for joining me. I'm very happy to have you. Thank you. It's um, nice to have you uh, come into class today. We are going to be practicing a little bit of reading, a little bit of grammar, conversation, etc., etc. Who in the class has a pet? Who? has a pet. Victor. I have even two pets. I have two you? cats. Two cats. Yeah. Oh, Ahmed, I'm going to mute your microphone and when you're ready to speak you can unmute it. Tell me about your two cats. Why did you decide to get cats? Um, first my cats, it's about 10 years old. Mm -hmm. I found him on the street just and bring brought to home. It's it lives in my home ten years. <laughs> it's a kind of good cat. Uh huh. Uh, now he's getting older. He's not as active as he was younger uh -oh. and. Um, my daughter found another cat and brought it to my home. <laughs> That's I have two cats. Nice. Do you think having cats makes your family 
happier? I don't know. When I was uh, a child, it, con it constantly was cats in my home. Mm. That's <laughs> nice. Just kind of habit, yeah. We, me too. We, me and my sister, we always got cats. And then when I was 14, I convinced my father to get dogs. <laughs> and they're a lot more work than cats, that's for sure. Tarek, what about you? Do you have any pets? Uh, no, no, no. Why have you chosen not to have pets? Uh, I like uh, dogs, but um, I think uh, it's not uh, it's not available uh, in my home. Okay, it's not possible to have them at home. No, I can do it, but uh, outside my home, uh, it's okay. in the. I don't like uh, to to let it. To let them uh, enter my home okay. <laughs> or beside my home. Lots of people feel that way. In Western culture, usually people have their pets in the home with them, in their beds. Yes. We're crazy. <laughs> but, I like, uh, but I like them. Mustafa? Uh, they, they, they sleep with them, like you, when you sleep with them. <laughs> I love sleeping with dogs. Isn't that weird? They keep you warm. <laughs> Mustafa, I don't know what happened to your microphone, but you're suddenly very quiet. Oh, no. That's better. What were you doing? Laying yeah. down? <laughs> <laughs> what's what's lay, laying down? Like this? <laughs> laying down? No, I, no, no. I... <laughs> The, the position was the wrong position for my microphone. Uh, okay. Okay. Just checking. No sleeping in class. And I mute. No, no sleeping, but but just eating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just eating. No, no sleeping and no eating. <laughs> Alrighty, let's okay, go. Okay. To, okay. So okay. tell me about Mustafa. Tell me about your pets. Do you have any? No, you don't. Uh, Why? I don't have, but uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, I don't. Maybe I. I think to have one in the future. Okay, very good. Okay. What, Mateo? What about you? I like the pets, but I don't have the pets. <laughs> <laughs> if if you could have a pet, what would it be? The dog. The dog. Uh, okay. When when I will be older. I maybe I take the big dog. <laughs> okay, very nice. So you would say I would like to have a dog. A dog. Because a you're dog. speaking in general, we're not talking about a specific dog, so you'd say a dog, not the dog, okay? Okay, a dog. Okay. Andre? I had a cat. It was very old, uh, about, um, it was uh, uh, about six, 15 or 16 years old and um, it was very old and uh, ill and veterinarians, or how do you call them, uh, uh, they had to put it away. So oh, put it down. Put it, put it down. Yeah. So I no longer have, have a cat or have a pet. But think uh, I think I think I would have a I, will, I want to have a, a water tank with, with fishes with gold fishes so they could uh, fulfill my wishes. <laughs> that's that's a nice um, that's a nice pet to have because it's beautiful. It gives you something to feed. Makes yeah, you feel to, like to you're feed not... maybe to relax. You know, fishes um, give, make makes you make you relax. Absolutely. Absolutely. But do I think uh, we can't call them pets? <laughs> Just uh... yeah, pet fish. <laughs> when I was a kid, my parent because I love animals so much. Like I am obsessed with animals. I love pets and birds and cats and dogs. My parents didn't want to have any pets, so they got me a fish tank, and I would 
I it wasn't enough for me. I would go in the fish tank and I'd hold the fish. <laughs> <laughs> Because I wanted to hold something. For, for it? No, just to uh, pet it. And the poor fish was like... For <laughs> <laughs> how long? <laughs> <laughs> it was like, they probably saw me coming in the glass. And they're like, no, she's coming. <laughs> Hide. <laughs> I don't know. I just take them out, Andre, and pet them. And then I put them back in the water. They didn't, they didn't survive very long. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Ali? Um, I had a bird right now. Mm -hmm. Tell me why you've chosen birds. Why do you like birds? I like birds uh, and uh, I don't know. <laughs> Just like uh, and uh, they, they are funny and they play with you and sometimes they talking to you and they learn some vocabularies. Um, <laughs> I don't know. They are funny. What words can your birds say? Um, uh, he says uh, like a pretty bird. Pretty good? <laughs> pretty, pretty bird. Pretty and, uh, bird. Yeah. And uh, like uh, my love, something like that. And uh, uh, recently he, uh, he learned, uh, he says, uh, champion uh, a team in Turkey, soccer team. <laughs> my brother uh, taught him, I think. Mm -hmm. That's pretty uh, good. Yeah. I can't say verbling yet. Verbling! <laughs> I don't know, maybe. <laughs> you should and, teach it. Yeah. I, I uh, like cats. Uh, I had a uh, cat uh, cats before, but not now. And I had a turtle uh, maybe three or four years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, he died. Aww. Poor turtle. Yeah. What about you, Ahmed? Tell us about um, if you have pets. Ahmed, you need to um, to take your microphone off of mute so that we can hear you. We can't hear you. Mm, you're not there? Well, quick story about pets. <clears throat> when I was on my hike this weekend, you guys won't believe it. It was very terrible. Well, maybe I shouldn't tell you. It's a sad story. Can you handle it? Yeah, yeah, we can. You can? Go, it's go it's sad. Tell us. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I was hiking, and it was about like two hours to get from my car to the point that I was going to, and then obviously I had to return. But I went to the point, and it's a very popular place for young people that are um, a little bit wild, and I knew that. I knew the area wasn't very safe, but they go there. They don't hike the whole way. They park closer, and they go up to a cliff, and they jump off the cliff into the water. And then you can hike right down to the water and swim there. It's a very, very beautiful spot, but it just has a reputation of being a little bit. Eh. Like the people that go there are not the, maybe not the best crowd, if you know what I'm saying. Anyways, I went down there to go swimming. And there was a girl that was in the bushes, and she had her dog with her. And she was in the bushes bending over, and I, ha I have been taking care of dogs for many, many years, so I know a lot about them, but I think she was a little bit like, ooh. And I said, is there, what's wrong? And she says, my dog, something's wrong with it. So she asked me if I could come and help her, and I went, and I was looking at the dog, and the dog was in bad shape. And it, I picked it up, and I was holding it, and it died in my arms. It was terrible. Oh. Oh, no. So we were crying because I said, well, what happened? And she says, he's been here for 30 minutes. 
shaking. And I said, well, why didn't you take him to the vet? Like, what? What's the? why were you still here? But I think because they were drinking and there was other substances involved that they just, they couldn't think clearly. And her poor dog died. It was awful. But when it died, it was very sad. She started screaming and crying. And they then she's like, we're going to the vet now. And I was like, oh, it's a bit bit late now but it was really sad and then I had to walk back to my car hike all the way up the mountain back to my car and I felt sick because I was so sad for the dog so I told you I told you it was a terrible story I don't know why I told you was it a big dog or a little no dog? and you know what's really sad it looked exactly like my old dog it was the same breed I don't know if you guys have ever seen Bella my old dog Bella but she looked, exa it was exactly Bella. And I was, I was holding her in my arms and she died. It was a very terrible, terrible experience for me. But like, probably about 30 pounds, Victor. Mm -hmm. Not like a huge dog. But they said that she was swimming and I think they just overworked it because that breed is very hyper and I think it had a heart attack because mm -hmm. it was over overworked. Wow, you're a bad story. I know. Sorry about that. I don't know. I don't. I don't really know why I told you, but it was really sad. I had to tell someone. Okay. I'd like to ask a question for you. Tarek, yeah. Uh, why, in, uh, in, special in Canada, all people or um, women uh, like uh, dogs? Because they're cute. No. <laughs> Uh, Special in Canada. Um, Canadians are just known for being like that. We love nature and animals and wildlife. It's just our culture. We're, we love animals. Yeah, okay. That's actually one thing that's difficult for me when I travel and I see in other countries that animals are not treated as good as they are in Canada. Not all countries, but in many. And I find it very difficult. It's probably one of the most difficult things for me, Tarek. Uh, yes. Sorry, Abby. You yeah. stayed uh, uh, in Canada, like the wildlife. Wildlife. Canada wow. Wild. <laughs> Not wild. the wildlife. <laughs> Are you wild? No. <laughs> no wild. Uh, wild. Wild. Uh, um, you mean uh, in a forest in the wild nature? Wild animals. Wild yeah, yeah. Animals. Ah, wild, 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 wild people. <laughs> you say the wild. Also, we also like the wild life, but we like wildlife too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mateo. No, no, no. I, I, I heard <laughs> you say the uh, wild life. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Sorry, 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 Emmy. <laughs> no, don't be sorry. Wildlife is wild animals. Teacher, okay. I think wild. Wildlife is the <laughs> maybe have different meaning. Yeah, you know that, yes. Uh, of course. Yeah, they, yeah. They live <laughs> in the forest. Though, I think. <laughs> no, not exactly in the forest, but maybe <laughs> they fight together or something. They get related to to like fight this. between them or something like that. Or like this in the forest. Yeah, yeah, yeah something mm -hmm. like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do. Okay, very good. Any other questions? Nope. Okay. Let's read. This guy has a pet that gets sick. He gets cancer. It's terrible. More sad stories. I, I'm sorry. It's a depressing class. <laughs> Between me and my dog story and um, this dialogue. Let's get reading, though. Can we have um, Tarek? You're going to be Mike? I try to choose... I try to choose different readers every time. And Ahmed, are you with us? Or against us? Yes. Okay, you're going to be Ben. Okay. Ben in the dialogue. Please start us off, Tarek. Okay. Are you okay, Ben? You don't like well. I'm okay. I'm just a little abyss. Why are you? Why are you upset? Upset, okay. I'm, uh, I'm upset because my mother told me that my 
Ghana is sick. I'm sorry to hear that. Is it going to be okay? I don't know that uh, Vitrinin said that it has. Hello. Hello. Has. Please continue, Ahmed. Um, I don't know that Fitrinia said that it has cancer. Oh, cancer is very bad. How old is your Oganya? Iguana? Iguana. 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 It is 15 years old. My mother said that the train made, made, made care his cancer. It has a good chance of several. Okay, very, very good. Ahmed, can you repeat survival? Survival. Excellent. Thank you very much. Everybody mute your microphones. Okay, thank you. Excellent reading, thank you. Okay, so anyone have a question about the words in the dialogue? Uh, teacher, uh, sorry, uh, is the iguana uh, the same in the picture, the green? The green yeah, the, the green lizard here. This is a very okay. popular pet in Canada. People like to get iguanas for pets. Okay. Does anybody have... Um, Does anybody have any uh, iguana or a lizard or any kind of, what's it called? Reptile? That's the word I'm looking for. Reptile. Is it popular to have reptile pets in your country? Ahmed, can you please keep your microphone muted when you're not speaking? Because there's a child speaking. Thank you. Does anyone have a reptile for a pet or know anyone who has a reptile for a pet? No. No snakes? No, I don't like. <laughs> Absolutely. No snakes. Where? <laughs> snakes where? Do you have snakes? Well, for example, in Canada, it's very po popular to have a snake as a pet. Does anyone know anybody like that? But you should, you should have a terrarium or some, something like that, right? An aquarium. Aquarium? Oh. Yes. Yeah. Just one moment. Abdu? Hello. Hello. Welcome to the class. How are you today? I'm good. Wonderful. Thanks for joining us. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Morocco, actually. Do you have any pets? Sorry? Do you have any pets? Any what? Pets. Text. Animals that live in your house. Pets. Ah, pets. Ah, okay, okay. Animals. No, no, actually, no. I, I hate animals. Oh, okay. Well, let's mute your microphone. <laughs> okay. I, I joined, I joined, class just, uh, you know, I, I, if you remember me, I, I, I just uh, sent you an email. You sent here. me an email? Are you Abby? Sorry? An email? Oh, I'm, okay. No, I haven't checked my messages because I've been teaching, but I'll check it after. Uh, okay, okay. Thank you so, for coming to the class, Abdu. Okay, you're welcome. welcome. I'm just listening, you know. Actually, okay. I'm here just for you. I, I was uh, looking for you to talk with you, but you are now in class. When you yeah. finish, please write me an email. Okay, will do. Okay. Thank you very much, Abdu. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just going to mute you just because it's a bit loud there. Awesome. Thanks, Abdu, for coming. All right. <laughs> Why are my classes live? Why does it have to be live? It just makes it so much more complicated. You have to record it. <laughs> okay. Why is Ben upset? Victor, why is Ben upset? 
Ben is upset because his poor iguana has a cancer. Has a cancer, exactly. So, Victor, what do you think will be the result? I think uh, poor iguana will be died soon. You will be dead. Will be dead, yeah. If Victor, why are why are you so positive? <laughs> <laughs> uh, because of cancer. Cancer uh, isn't uh, the best illness in the world. It's true. It's it's no laughing matter at all. If we're going to talk about yeah. cancer, does anyone in the class know anybody who has had cancer, or has anyone battled that themselves? For example, my sister, she had skin cancer, melanoma on her leg. Does, any, does anyone else know anybody who's had a type of cancer? No, I don't have cancer. Yes. No. <laughs> I, knew, I knew some people that yes, were died, uh, died I, of I, cancer. I knew. Yeah. You knew some people who have died of cancer? Yeah. Very sad. Unfortunately, I think we all know people that have died of cancer. Yeah. Ali? Many people uh, die from cancer in my country. What do you think causes their cancer, Ali? I don't know. Uh, many uh, things cause of uh, cancer. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, if you eat something or... Uh, I don't know. Maybe... Uh, I don't know. The <laughs> different uh, causes, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, Teacher, actually, for me in my country, uh, we have recently we have a lot of uh, people who came sick because of this uh, this illness. I, I think maybe because the chemical weapons, because the war, the different war, we pass them, and mm -hmm. the chemical weapons. So the people severe from that a lot. Good, yeah, it's absolutely a common and very dangerous illness, right? Yes, that's right. Uh, but you mentioned your sister or something like this. Is, is she okay? or? Yes, now she's okay. She's been clear for seven years. But when she was younger, she used to spend a lot of time in the sun without protection, like without wearing sunscreen or sitting in the shade. And she went to Hawaii, and she came back looking very, very black. And because of that sun exposure... She got a black mole on the back of her leg that was melanoma, skin cancer, and she had to have it um, cut out. It was it was pretty serious. Uh, you know, in Egypt, uh, in Egypt, the complications of virus C uh, cause uh, cancer. And the the, the, sorry. The complications of what, Tarek? Sorry. Virus C. Hepatitis C. Virus, virus C. Virus C. I'm not sure what that is. Like uh, uh, the liver. Uh, yes, it's a hepatitis. Food. Hepa hepatitis? hepatitis C. Yeah, hepatitis yes. C. Okay. Uh, it's uh, the, the complications due to uh, cancer. And uh, a lot of people die because. Uh, because uh, this uh, vi uh, this virus. Yeah. Anyone else have a comment? Well, I I would add uh, one thing. Uh, for me, uh, usually the the reason uh, of the cancer is three fi are th three things: food, happy, stress, and uh, environment. You said food, stress, and environment? Yes. Okay, give me an example of the environment causing cancer. Uh, environment, uh, if, you if you live in a, in a, in a area um, dangerous for, um, uh, for example, uh, industry, factory, chemical, okay, environment, a bad environment, uh, and probably uh, you have a, um, most probably for um, have a, a cancer. 
Mm-hmm. Okay? You know? Yeah. If you live uh, a life of stress, uh, all day, stress for, uh, for job, stress for money, stress for family, stress, 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 and it's a, you have a most proba- prob- probably have a cancer. A higher probability. Mm-hmm. Probability. If you're smoking too much. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Oh, smoking, smoking, Ali, yes. Uh, yes, yes that's right. Lung cancer, something like that. Absolutely. We live in an area where there's lots of wines produced, lots of vineyards, we call them, where they grow the grapes, and we also live with orchards. And they say that in this area, the pesticides that they spray on fruits and vegetables obviously are very harmful, cause cancer as well. So yes. I think it's difficult to escape, right? Mm-hmm. Other people live where there's high levels of radiation, so it's difficult to um, escape those things. Yeah. Uh, do you remember Chernobyl? Something like Chernobyl. Oh, yeah. Chernobyl. Yeah. 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 It was uh, in uh, Ukraine, I think, uh, in nineties. Uh, they uh, it uh, affect all environment. Uh, some people uh, live in north of uh, Turkey, and uh, they affected uh, by Chernobyl. And uh, some experts says uh, that region uh, uh, many people die from cancer. That's why and Chernobyl calls it. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Classic example. Okay. Ben's mom says the veterinarian might have a cure. Andre, what do you think Ben's mom is doing? Um, he's doing... Um, she, she, she's trying to uh, make him... Uh, Make uh, I'm not sure what she's doing. <laughs> make him feel better. Like, like make, him, make him for yeah, feel good. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Do you think he has a good chance of survival? Uh, iguana. Yeah. I'm not sure. Maybe um, it would be great. Uh, <laughs> a great uh, way to to. Cure the cancer. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. It's probably not going to happen. What is a cure? What is a cure, Mustafa? Uh, a medicine, like a medicine or treatment. Okay, very good. And what does the treatment do? Uh, treatment. If it's a cure. Uh, I. I think treat people or uh, make them feel good from the sick or illness, something like this. Mm-hmm. Yes. Maybe. Makes them feel good. What does it do to the illness? Uh, kill the virus, maybe, or yeah. try to treat it, something like this. Yeah, or what I can this uh, like against uh, subjects or against bodies, something like this, in the, our body, active them to fight the uh, illness. Very good. What is a good cure for a headache, Mustafa? What's a good cure for a headache? I I, I am not expert in this actually. Uh, when I have headache, I go to my mom. But I think paracetol <laughs> or Benadol. Benadol, yes, Benadol, Benadol. Yeah. Go ahead. Head, very good. A head headshot. A headshot. What do you mean? <laughs> a shot to the head? <laughs> a bullet. <laughs> Teacher, for 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 uh, something public in our culture, actually, is it drink tea when okay. you have it? Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Or go. Yeah, Are That's you from it. Egypt? <laughs> Are you from Egypt? Sorry. No, no, I am from Iraq. Uh, the same in Egypt. Yeah, yeah, something. Yeah, Egypt. Okay, actually, also like the tea. Yeah. That, that reminds me of the Dominican Republic. Every time I had something wrong with me was when um, they would give me a recipe for a tea, and I basically wanted to scream. 
<laughs> no more tea. <laughs> but 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 I, I promise you, it's, it's not the same of tea here in Arabic country. It's I hope different, not. totally different. I imagine it's different. Yes. <laughs> Um, Ali, what's a good cure for um, sadness or depression? Uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, go out. Maybe uh, take uh, some fresh air. Mm hmm. Uh, vodka, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Andre, is this true? Does vodka cure depression? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I say any alcohol. I think uh, sometimes it helps, but not for for so long. Not <laughs> vodka, maybe cocaine. <laughs> not for long. <laughs> <laughs> Not for long, yeah, because next day you will have a hangover. Or, and What's the best cure for a hangover, Andre? Another vodka. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's a vicious cycle, you know. <laughs> it is a vicious cycle. Yeah. Maybe beer. <laughs> ew, ew, I can't even imagine. Mm. Illegal drinks. Mustafa, what do you mean illegal? Is that not legal in Iraq to have a drink? Teacher, actually, uh, Ali, Ali said uh, cocaine. Is cocaine illegal? <laughs> oh, cocaine. <laughs> cocaine is not. Cocaine is not legal. No. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's illegal, but it's not a drink. It's not a drink. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's right. You got um, me. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, anybody else want to talk about a good cure for something? Okay. Who is the oldest person that you know? Tarek, who's the oldest person that you know? Oldest? Yeah, the oldest. My father. <laughs> okay, how old is your father? Uh, 70. 70? And mm -hmm. what do you think? Why Why has he been able to live for so long? Is he healthy? Um, <laughs> Allah wants that. <laughs> Sorry? Uh, that's uh, his uh, life. I um, it's not related to um, health, uh, 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 good health, or uh, or uh, another thing, because uh, there are a lot of uh, people uh, die every day, and uh, they are uh, totally healthy. Mhm. Mm yeah, that's true. So it's like uh, his life and his uh, counts days. He's, you could say related. he's counting the days. He's counting the days. No, no, it's not. Uh, it's not related to anything. Okay. Thanks for sharing, Tarek. Does anyone else know someone that's older, and there's a reason, or you think there's a reason for them being so healthy for so long? Yes, uh, I know someone uh, more than a hundred years old. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he lives uh, in the village, uh, in my village. The village is uh, on the mountain. And uh, I think uh, they eat healthy food or drink healthy something when there is a fresh air always. No stress, something like that. That's why they live long life. Beautiful. Good answer. No stress. Excellent. Um, anyone else want to share about an older person they know that has lived a long life? I think the oldest I knew was 105. Sophie was her name. I loved her. I would go and visit her at her at her home. She was a um, wonderful person. Does anyone know anybody? 
All right. We're going to create sentences. Okay, so the first one, I might, remember might, we talked about this in the last class. Might is something that is, um, there's a good probability or a good chance that you'll do it. Maybe, maybe not. So, <laughs> <laughs> why, Mustafa? Because of your classes, sure. Why? <laughs> it's about phobia, fear. Am no, I, no. <laughs> am I creating no. too much stress? Too much stress for you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I was joking. I was joking. I just joking. Okay, everybody, go ahead and write your sentence in the chat. We're gonna write the first one in the chat. So I might something something tomorrow. Teacher, I am done for me, or I have to create to create another one. I don't know. Are you a really good student or just an average student? <laughs> <laughs> you can write another one if you want, Mustafa. Okay, teacher. It's up to you. Tarek, that's true. Can you read your sentence? Okay. I might die tomorrow. Yeah. We might all die tomorrow. We don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and your sentence is absolutely perfect. What What will you do tomorrow, for sure? Do you have any plans? Um, not, no, I uh, I think it's, uh, it's my day off. So I think... Uh, I, I'll be at home. Okay, very good. Thank you for sharing, Tarek. Mm -hmm. Andre, read your sentence. I might I might go to gym tomorrow. I'm not oh, sure if I should use uh, an article. Here. You should. Um, you should. Yes, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. To the gym. Perfect. I might go to the gym tomorrow. Perfect. Okay. Ali. I might go to the doctor tomorrow. Perfect. Is that true? Uh, yes, maybe. Okay. You get it. Get him to check your head. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, maybe he check my uh, food. Check your food. <laughs> uh oh, he's gonna tell you no more beef. How do you know? Because <laughs> I'm. There is a pain in my uh, left uh, foot, uh, toe, in my left uh, toe. Oh, so you have to get that fixed. Maybe, yeah. I think uh, I ate uh, too much meat. <laughs> That's because there is a pain. Really? So yeah. my, maybe he... See, I, you don't bother paying the doctor. Just pay me and I'll tell you what to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Humberto says, I might learn English tomorrow. Why wait till tomorrow? Learn today, Humberto. Victor, what's your sentence? I might fly by plane tomorrow. Uh-oh. Sorry to <laughs> hear that. You've cured me. <laughs> I, I've cured you. <laughs> Either that or the vodka that everybody keeps talking about. Um, Mateo. Okay. What's your sentence? Uh, I might. Okay. I might. Uh, uh, po -po -po. I might go to the beach tomorrow. Beautiful. Good job. Delta, welcome back to the class. Good to see you. Good to see you again, teacher. Do you want to create a sentence for us? You might what tomorrow? Of course. Uh, I might, um, I might to make a cut tomorrow. Where would, who would you like to call? No, I might to try to cook tomorrow. At you might try to cook tomorrow. Cook. Yeah. Okay. Cook. Would you? Are you, you should I make might, gu guandules con coco. <laughs> <laughs> I might try that. Let's see. I might try to cook tomorrow guandules con coco. Mmm, that sounds good. My favorite Dominican yeah. food. <laughs> Andre. Okay. Oh, Andre, you already said one, didn't you? 
Yeah, I might go yeah. to the gym. And Ali, you might go to the doctor. Excellent. Next sentence. I, I made one. I might cut my hair tomorrow five times. Next sentence. I'm just a little... I'm just a little... This one we're going to speak. You're not going to type it. Let's start with Mateo. Mustafa, do you have something to say? No, no. Uh, just go ahead. go ahead. You might skip my class tomorrow? No, no. I was uh, joking. I can't uh, skip your class. I might have a broken heart tomorrow. <laughs> no, no, Tisha. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll, <laughs> we'll have a broken heart also. <laughs> Matteo. Okay. Um, I'm just a little. Abby. Yes, uh, I'm just a little. Ah, okay. I'm just a little. Um, I'm just a little sick. Uh oh. No, sorry. I'm just a little upset. I'm just a little upset. Okay, very good. Okay. Well, sorry about that. Um, Mustafa, you're just a little nervous. Why? No, this is not real. This is oh, okay. just a sentence. Just okay. a sentence. Very good. Yeah. I'm just a little nervous. Tarek. Okay, I'm just a little confused. Perfect. Good job. Victor. I'm just a little man. What are you mad about? <laughs> uh, like in the song. I'm just a little man? Yeah. What song is that? What song is that, Victor? Do you know? Little man? Little man, maybe I don't know it. I don't know if I know that. No, song. you have to know that. Who sings it? Uh, Cher and uh, uh, I don't remember a couple of old singers. Okay, I'm gonna look it up. I'm just a little man. Thanks for sharing. And Ali. I'm just a little drunk. Drunk, 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 yeah. Just a little bit drunk. You can add the word. I'm just a little bit. Want to a little bit? Yeah. Just a little bit drunk. I'm sorry to hear that, Ali. Why? Well, so. <laughs> why? Why are you so sorry? Sorry, we're not all together. <laughs> to watch you. He cured his toe. <laughs> We would we would like to um to to witness that, Andre. Teacher, teacher, sorry, teacher. Uh, just I want to mention something. Yes. When I went to Turkey, I I noticed that something, the Turkey people drink a lot. You Turkey. cannot imagine. Yeah, yeah, some a lot, a lot, a lot of time. <laughs> Turkish, yes, Turkish, yes. You but, Russians, Russia. Russians had taught them. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think Russians taught the Canadians too. <laughs> I'm just joking. Just joking. <laughs> Del Delta. Yeah. I'm just a little bit crazy. I'm just a little bit crazy. Okay, very good. Good job, you guys. Any questions? <laughs> I know. You copied Andre. That's okay, though. Allowed. I'm just going to look up here in the chat. I have to go now. See you. Okay. Bye, Tarek. I didn't notice that. A little bit stupid. Just a little bit stupid. <laughs> a little bit loco. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but what I say on real. Mustafa, what do you mean? What I saw, teacher. What I saw for real. For real. In Turkey, for you mean? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I won't ask you if you joined them. I don't want to put you on the spot. <laughs> but I but I hope but I hope you had fun. That's all I want to say. I hope you had fun. Okay. <laughs> We're going to do a quick grammar lesson. This is the end. I think the end of our dialogue. Oh no, we got more. Don't worry. We've got more dialogues coming up. <laughs> um, tense review. We're going to 
practice the tenses that we've learned over the last unit. Present tense, present continuous tense, past or future tense, okay? So just go ahead and fill in the blank with a verb in the correct form. So you'll need to look at the context. Next year, right now, last night, every day. Remember that's a habit, right? So let's go ahead and start with number one. And Ali, can you do it for us? OK. Uh, I might uh, go to Japan next year. I might go to Japan next year. Beautiful. Excellent, excellent job. Number two, Andre. Andy is doing his homework uh, right now. Nice. Number three, Delta. Uh, Kenny and Nancy go to tennis. Go to play the te go to play tennis last night. Go to tennis last night. Again. Kenny and Nancy went to play tennis last night. Perfect. Went to play tennis, or you could say played tennis. Yeah, played tennis last night. Good job, Delta. Thank you, uh, Mateo. Number four. Okay, Josh have a lunch at 12 every day. Okay, now it's third person singular. Um, sorry, Josh um, was Present tense of have if the subject have. is he, she, or it. Have. Um, had. No, sorry. This is a past. past. Um, where? Has. Has uh -huh. been. Has. Josh has lunch at 12 o'clock every day, or like Mustafa said in the chat, it could also be eats. Both are correct. Josh has. Has lunch, or eats lunch. Okay. Okay, good job, Mateo. Good try. We still love you. <laughs> <laughs> Mustafa, number five. Okay, teacher, five. Paula and Mikey will go to park tomorrow. Very good. We'll go to the park tomorrow. Yeah. Number six, Victor. My, <clears throat> my grandparents went to my house yesterday and prepared dinner with us. Went to my house and prepared. Awesome. Victor, you rock. Yep. Good job. <laughs> Number seven, Ali. Thank you. Uh, we plan to go to tennis after we fi finish our homework. Mm, try, give me a simple single uh, word. Plan to play. Yeah. Perfect. Good job. Nicely done, Ali. Number eight, Andre. Uh, Ron uh, speaks on the phone every night. Excellent. Or? So what's a uh, synonym for speak? Talks. Talks? Yeah, talks. Mm -hmm. Both are correct, Andre. Just wanted to let you know that. Very good. Um, number nine, Delta. Number nine? Oh, nine. sorry. Yeah, number nine. I ate pizza last night. Beautiful. What did you really eat last night? Uh, let's see. Uh, I thought that was sandwiches with with juice, uh, orange juice. Okay, delicious. Sandwiches mm -hmm. with orange juice. That sounds very oh, Dominican. No no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was. It wasn't. Uh, that was mango with. Cebolla uh, <laughs> roja. Okay, sounds good. Have mango. You, have you ever tested mango, teacher? Oh my goodness, of course. I've had six and a half years of mango. 
This is delicious. It's it's okay. Yeah, it's good for sure. Mateo, number ten. Um, ten. Okay. Uh, make uh, the last time that, um, after I go. Um, ten, ten, ten. I'm going to say the bad word. Mm. Nobody tell him. Okay. Or I'll, I'll have to give you virtual smacks. <laughs> I'm going to say. Very close. It is synonymous with say. When you give information, we use a slightly different verb. Who can help? Tell. Tell, Mateo. Tell. Ah, tell. I'm going to tell the teacher that you say a better word. Okay, very uh -huh. good. Eleven, Mustafa. Uh, my mother playing in her bedroom right now. Mm, sleeps. Mm-hmm. Uh, sleeping. Is it sleeping? My mother is sleeping in her bedroom right now. Perfect. Good job. What else could she be doing? Cleaning, washing her, folding her clothing, doing laundry, right? Good job. In her be teacher bedroom. in her be bedroom. In her I, bedroom. I fold laundry in my bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Number um, 12, Victor. My brother doesn't want to go to school today. Excellent. 13, Ali. Uh, Randy made a cake last, last night. Made a cake last night. Very good. Or what's another more technical word for that? Not cooked. Baked. 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 Excellent. Eight. Good job. Eight. <laughs> Eight. Eight. Yeah, maybe she ate the cake. What's the boss of cook? Because when we're talking about sweets, Delta, like cakes, um, cookies, breads, yeah. pastries, Jars. we Jars. use the word baked. We use bake, not cook. Uh, yeah. Or, or okay. both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Thank you. Sorry, Ali. What was your question? Or Randy bought a cake. Yeah, could have been bought. Good. Yeah, there's lots of different options. You guys did a wonderful job in that class. Any questions? Sir, sorry, can please can you write a word in the chat? The last word you said. Baked, bought. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Made. See the part of bake, right? Exactly. To bake is the process of yeah. baking yeah. of cooking yeah. pastries, breads. Or Randy it's like the, when, when you say, I bake a uh, cheesecake. Bake a cake. Ah, uh, yeah. And Randy gobbled, maybe. <laughs> gobbled a cake. See, Ali, look at you and your English. You're amazing. Swallowed. He swallowed. He swallowed the whole cake. <laughs> yeah.